So God's prophet, I know prophet Elvis. He's a prophet of God. So prophet Elvis, prophesy on the people. Amen. Can you hear me? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The Bible reveals in the book of John chapter 5 and verse 4. Can you hear me at the back? Can you hear me at the back? It says that at a certain time of the year, the angel comes and stirs the water. And it happens to be that there are certain realities that are spiritual realities now. But the reference that we have to them in the Bible is that they were geographical locations. For instance, you will see Egypt in the Bible has a geographical location. But its implication now is bondage. You see Babylon has a geographical location and reference in the Bible. But because of the nature of spirits that colonize that place, it has a spiritual reality even now. You will see Zion, a physical location in the Old Testament. This, it was also called the city of David. But now the Bible says you have come. Have you left Lagos? But you have come to Mount Zion. And so the Bible reveals that, amen, amen, reveals that the angel comes to, to stay the pool of Bethesda. I went that route because there is an angel that appeared to me about two years ago. And there is something that God sent him to give me. And I started seeing him last night while I was praying by like 12 1. He came to me in the parlor. And we began to talk. And then the only thing he told me was, see you tomorrow at the venue. So when I got here, I began to ask God, why is this guy coming? And the Lord said that there are seven prophets here. That he wants to put his oil upon and activate them in purpose. Now, I don't know who those seven people are, but I will just ask you to lift your right hand. And so, Lord, in the name of Jesus, from my, oh, you see, it's already coming. From my left to my right, help me identify those seven prophets. Those seven prophets. Put your hand upon them. Bring them up into that open door that you showed me when I sat. I summon the prophet on your inside. Kai. I see a woman and I see that your womb is being conscripted as a potter. So that when you pray, things will be imparted from the realm of the spirit. Holy Ghost, 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 He said we will meet at the venue and he actually came with an entourage of angels, power! He came with an entourage to equip men in purpose and in destiny. You will not be weak again. God is making you strong now. I said, God is making you strong because he's putting his oil upon you. He's putting his hand upon you and he's putting his grace upon you. Amen. Thank you. You see, there are mighty ones among us. Mike Sailor. I say lo hadama. Kai. We're about to close. Jesus. Kai. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now listen. As they are under this influence, if you go to sleep and you hear a voice wake you up, don't be afraid.
Just say, speak for your servant, hear it. Will you not be afraid? <laughs> 